What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at the King's Land in Brooklyn today. Some beautiful whiskey behind us right here. And today we are here with the Texas Death Metal Masters. I am. Thank you, Andrew, for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, it's so awesome. Hard to Kill, your latest record, uh, which just came out, I think, like a week or two ago, right? Yeah, a week ago. Yeah, so let's just give a rundown on how the making of it was. Um, It's pretty... Uh, it took a while... We've been riding for probably like two years on it, so it took it took a while the process, and uh, I felt we were more way more meticulous with this one, and it uh, it broke us a lot because <laughs> we were arguing back and forth, and it was it was a uh, it was intense, but after everything, you know, we uh, the product that we got it was more more than what we wanted to do, you know which is awesome. Yeah. You know, it's death metal. It's supposed to be intense, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But um, what I was curious, since you mentioned that it took two years to make this record, did the music at all change in the course of those two years? Uh, no. That's one thing that was pretty consistent was the music and the style that we wanted to shoot for. You know, we were... I felt like when we released Life of Torment, that's what we wanted to do with it, but it got push in a way different direction so getting to do that with hard to kill the music direction that we went you know that never changed that never okay. that was always set in stone like this is this is the kind of shit we're trying to do right now yeah did you go into the studio with like an idea of how you wanted this record to sound oh uh, yeah yeah i mean i feel like everybody always does um but uh the guy we recorded with randy labeouf at a machine shop you know he he took our idea and like put it to the next level you know like it was i couldn't he working with him was so so great because he i felt like he brought the best of out of us you know which is awesome now being that it's death metal you know i've interviewed a bunch of death metal bands and it seems like there's always kind of like a, a formula that death metal always follows but for you does anything was when making music is there anything that comes first is there a lyrical concept that comes first is do you work off of guitar riffs or yeah um so we, me and Tom, the guitar player, this album, we really worked together on it to try to write the songs with uh, lyric patterns versus lyric patterns with the songs to try to just make it more catchy, more uh, outstanding, you know. But uh, but yeah, we, we definitely have a, a pattern that we try to stick to, you know. Okay. Being a vocalist, do you need to hear music before you come up with lyrics? or No. No, no, no. Uh, I write lyrics all the time. <laughs> like, I just, anytime I think of something, I just go down a deep hole of writing lyrics, and I end up with three pages of shit that I'm never going <laughs> to use. But I always have a bunch of lyrics written, and then uh, I like to put them into the songs I feel fit the best, because I feel like songs, you know, they have, a, they have a mood, they have a feeling, they have a color. You know, I feel like songs have a very specific... Uh, thing that needs to be put to it and I try to fit my lyrics best to that. So it's fair to say that your lyrics can determine the outcome of the whole song in general, right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like, I feel like lyrics for any band definitely determines or puts a lot of mood into the song you know, because I feel like if you don't, a lot of bands you know, it's just, it's not timeless, it's not there's no, there's nothing there you know, if you're not putting mood into your songs. Yeah. Do you try to express a certain message behind your lyrics, or are you talking about anything personal, or do you sometimes like to leave your lyrics open to interpretation? I I like to do uh, both. So, like, all the... I have a lot of personal songs, and I have a lot of, you know, more songs that people can decide whatever the fuck it's about. So, But I feel like, I feel like anybody can do that with any song, you know, like... We have a bunch of personal songs on the record, but the way it's personal to me could be personal to somebody else, you know, yeah. which I think that's the greatest thing about music, you know. It yeah. could be taken any way from anybody. Yeah, and I, I mean, there are some songs that are rather, like, uh, dictating, like I wouldn't call uh, Cannibal Corpse lyrics necessarily, like, uh, no, that's like pretty, uh, uh, romantic ballads, yeah, you know yeah, what no, I mean? No. But, I mean? But, I mean, hey, if you're into that shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. To each his own. Yeah. What you do in your spare time is none of our business. Yeah. Now, um, I, as I was talking before we started rolling, the Texas death metal scene, I mean, you have Texas death metal written on your shirts. It's clear that you guys have some Texas pride, but yeah. being the home of Upon a Burning Body and Power Trip and 
not death metal, but Shattered Sun, you know, kind of having that heavier vibe to it. And, of course, Pantera. I mean, you can't yeah. go wrong with that. <laughs> How was it be getting – did you guys build up your name in Texas before you started touring or – Yeah, yeah, for sure. We uh, we played Texas a lot. You know, we, uh, we didn't start playing off anywhere. Well, I've always said this. We're, we've been a band to slowly progress, uh, build a strong fan base versus, you know – coming right out the gate and we're already touring you know already doing all this stuff but uh i feel like the way we did it went about it you know we played in texas and made sure you know texas is always our home texas is always where we're gonna have a good show you know which that's that's what we wanted to make sure you know which is cool some bands they like say oh we want to get out of our hometown in order yeah to see i feel like if you don't have a good hometown show or if you don't have a good show in your state you know, it's. I feel like it's just doomed from the start. If you just try to start playing out of state, you know, like. True. I mean, that also depends where you are, where you're from. You know, yeah. some places don't have a scene like other places do, but you know, for the most part, I think you should definitely. Yeah. Start. Well, I mean, to an extent, like I think if you like try to start a hardcore band in like Portland, Maine, or something like that, you might have trouble. But then you bring that hardcore band to New York, you might have a better. Yeah, yeah. It sounds. It also really depends on where you're from too. Yeah. Now, is it kind of easier to start a band in Texas because there is so much metal down there? Yeah, I mean, it's there's a, there's a lot of bands in Texas, a lot of good bands, and then uh, there's a lot of people wanting to play music too. So I mean, it's just it's it's endless. If you can't find a band in Texas, then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um, from now, not to pigeonhole you guys by any means, but we were yeah. just talking. You guys do have that classic death metal sound to it. Um, but you still have toured with bands that are fairly different. You did a Casey Strain. You're doing yeah. Ingested right now. I know that you're going out with Unearth, and uh, you toured with yeah. Through the Eyes of the Dead. So do you notice maybe a different reaction depending on who you play with to your style? Yeah, um, you know, we, we grew up playing a lot of hardcore metalcore shows and because uh, there was no really, like, heavy heavier scene where we were when we were coming up. But uh, so I feel like that establish like where we can be in the scene you know like we've always wanted to be that band that can play we can play a hardcore tour we can play a metalcore tour we can play a death metal tour we can play a you know deathcore tour whatever you know we, we've always just wanted to be that band that we can play anything and yeah i mean it's there's definitely different we choose the songs depending on the tour you know like we'll choose our more death metal songs for this tour you know yeah. we'll choose are more hardcore songs for, you know, a different tour that we do, you know, so. Yeah, which is cool that you experiment. So it's fair to yeah. say, because I feel like death metal is such a formulaic um, style of music, but in the end, it also can be diverse. Cannibal Corpse is oh, yeah. different from Arch Spire, which is yeah. different from Obscura, but in the end, That's it's what I'm saying. all like, death I, metal. Yeah, like, I hate all the whole subgenre kind of thing, like. The periodic think, table think, of metal yeah, subgenres. I think, I think that shit is so fucking lame, and, like, you know, it's all fucking metal, man. You know, like, we all play distorted guitars to shit nobody can understand. Yeah. So, like, I feel like, you know, I feel like all that subgenre shit's done. Yeah, and I think uh, by you playing with different bands, that's what allows you to get your name out there. Yeah, man, I mean, I feel like that's with any band, you know. If you try to pigeonhole yourself, pigeonhole yourself, you you just, you know, that's it. You yeah. know, you can only play that kind of that kind of style, that kind of music, you know. You got to broaden your spectrum, you know. Yeah. So is it fair to say that when you're making new music, you do like to experiment a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, with this record, we definitely took a lot of uh, like thrash hardcore uh, and put it into our more death metal aspects of this record, you know, but I feel like I feel like it turned out amazing i mean i i, I want to say like i love the record i listen to it like every day yeah so <laughs> if cool. i like it and i play it you know i like i think that's i think that's something well there's truth to it i mean you shouldn't put out a record that you're not proud of yeah right? you know i feel like there's so many i talk to so many people and they're just they put out records and they're like man like i just don't even like this kind of music i'm just playing this for you know just to be in a band i'm just like dude like <laughs> it just doesn't make sense like you know, yeah. Dig the shit that you write. Dig the shit that you play. Yeah, and p it'll, it'll show on stage. Yeah, no matter that's, how that's good a of an actor thing you too. are. I can see that so many times. I see bands. And I'm just like, man, this guy does not like playing this music. <laughs> it, 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 there's some truth to it, and it's 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 awkward oh, to yeah. watch a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, um, 
And uh, one final question I'd like to ask you um, is kind of like a very deep philosophical question, but how do you know when a song is finished? That's hard to, that's hard to say, because like, especially with this record, um, we had a lot more longer songs on this one, so I feel like it was definitely harder to say, okay, this song needs to end right here, but like, I guess we just kept, we just kept writing, and, and it just, to us, it felt like it was getting better and better the longer the song went, so we were like, fuck man, like, yeah, it's hard to end it, so eventually you, you come to a spot where you feel like it's it's done but uh you know sometimes it's really fucking hard yeah especially when you're in such a groove it's almost kind of like sorry for the vulgar analogy but it's kind of like getting cock blocked in a no way. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah for sure for sure it is yeah so before we go i want to thank you so much for your time oh, yeah, it's gonna be man. a brutal yeah. show tonight Thanks. is there just i know that you're hitting the road with unearth fit for an autopsy the agony scene yeah. and traders you're jumping on that tour it just came through new york it's going to be one of the craziest shows you'll ever see in your I'm life. I'm excited, man. I'm yeah. excited. Is there just anything else, uh, of course, that you're allowed to talk about that you would like to promote? Can we be expecting any more tours? or? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're planning shit for next year, but uh, nothing I can say right now. But yeah. You'll you know. tell me when I stop recording, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, but thank you so much, Andrew. We are here with I Am. Be sure to pick up Hard to Kill if you haven't already and catch them on their up-and-coming tour with Unearth, the agony scene fit for an autopsy and traders. We'll see you next time on Heavy New York, everybody.